Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you how to do an oil dye test. Uh, I've got a leak on this uh, V6 here and I'm going to run a dye test on it to find out where the leak is coming from. Super simple. Uh, you do need an ultraviolet light like so here. Um, also, you need these special goggles and of course you're going to need some oil dye. Let's go ahead and get into it. And it goes without saying, guys, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. Um, always use the instructions given by the manufacturer of your oil dye here. Um, also, uh, follow the instructions provided by the kit that you'll be using. So, real important also, guys. All right, we're just going to find our oil cap. And I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Set that off to the side there. And then we're going to go ahead and take our oil dye and just go ahead and pour that right inside. So, put our oil cap back on. And I'm going to remove this stuff because we're going to go ahead and crank the vehicle up and let it run for a while. Alright, so we got it running. I'm going to let it run for a good 10 minutes or so and then I'm going to check it over. In some instances it takes longer for the oil to leak out. You may have to drive it for a day, maybe longer. But uh, I believe I got a pretty good oil leak here, so we shouldn't have any problem finding out where my oil leak is at. But uh, it's all relative. Uh, it, it all depends on the severity of the uh, oil leak and uh, where it's leaking from. So the, the time you may have to have your vehicle run for may differ. Okay, so it's been running about 10 minutes or so, and I suspect I got an oil leak on this side of the engine. And mind you, you want to look all over your engine. The main places that leak oil are seals, like your valve cover gaskets, your oil pan gaskets, uh, front crank seal, rear crank seal, cam seals, things like that. So you want to look in those areas and, and really all over because in some instances, rare instances, you, you may have a, uh, a porosity issue where oil is actually leaking from either a head or a crank uh, crankcase. It's very rare, but it does happen. So look all over the thing. And what you're going to look for is a glowing green substance. And that's going to be your oil dye that has leaked out. And we're just going to look around here. And around that area. Oh, I see a little something right back there. And you may have to get a mirror. And oh, by the way, you're probably not going to see green on this video here because of the camera most likely but uh, yeah it's looking really juicy around that VBT solenoid this is a Honda by the way and this is the back side of the right cylinder head and yeah it looks like I've got a leak around the VBT uh, solenoid there and I was hoping that wasn't the case but it looks like that's what it's gonna be unfortunately for me so of course as you've already guessed there's gonna be another video of me replacing that so uh, stay tuned for that I'm not sure what date I'll have that for you but uh, like I said just look all over the place uh, use your dye light uh, you should see uh, green oil wherever your oil leak is at guys if you have any questions please let me know comment below also please read the entire description below for more information about this more important information and some safety information too and as always like and subscribe Thank you very much for watching, guys.